Hello, I'm Pat Cunningham. Um, welcome to my series of videos explaining equity release. Today, um, I'm going to talk about an alternative to lifetime mortgages. All my videos so far have been about lifetime mortgages. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the alternative, which is a home reversion plan. It's different to a lifetime mortgage. Um, with a home reversion plan, you would sell your property or a proportion of your property to a home reversion plan provider. They would be the registered owner of the property uh, and in return you would be allowed to stay in your home uh, generally rent free. Some of them might uh, have a small rent but generally rent free um, for, the for the duration until you die or you go into long-term care or maybe even for a specified period uh, which would have to be at least 20 years but that would be specified and laid out in the agreement so that's where it's different from a lifetime mortgage you would sell sell the property or part of the property percentage of the property to the provider they would be the, you wouldn't own the property anymore so Property uh, to qualify needs to be at least £80,000 and I wouldn't really look at anything any less than that and you would need to uh, sell them at least 25% of the property uh, up to 100% of course and uh, they would purchase that at a discounted rate you wouldn't get the market value it'd be below market value that they would pay you um, because of course uh, they're not going to get their money back for another 25 or 30 years. So the the property itself uh, can be uh, freehold or leasehold. If it's leasehold, it would need at least at least 80 years on the lease. Uh, or some providers will look at your age and do a calculation to uh, to decide how much lease there should be left but it needs to be a long lease um, and of course the property has to be on the land registry it has to appear on the land registry it's got to be registered and it's got to be in reasonable condition um, because remember uh, they're not going to get any money for another 30 years so they want this you know it can't be holes in the roof and all the rest of it it can't be falling down and windows missing so it's got to be in, in reasonable nick for them to uh, to take it from you. So that's uh, really covering the properties. It can be all, all types of properties, but they would uh, you know flats or uh, or, or houses. Um, so that's that's the property. Minimum age sixty five. Uh, some will go under that, but generally need to be at least uh, sixty five. Maximum age usually about ninety, but some will go. Uh, longer than that. Um, they would expect you to live in the property uh, and to upkeep it and keep it in reasonable nick. Of course you keep it in reasonable nick but you won't be able to do any of these major repairs or alterations uh, as you would if you had a lifetime mortgage. Remember it's not your property anymore, they own it, you don't. So if you can't do those things. So uh, you know there is a restriction on what you can do but you will be expected to keep it in reasonable condition and um, many of these providers would in fact expect you to to sign uh, an agreement every year to say that you are in fact a resident at the property so I make sure it's not been abandoned or someone else is is, is living there and um, as far as other people living there you would need to obtain permission from the uh, plan holder for anybody else to move in with you or uh, to live in the property and anybody over 17 would need to sign a disclaimer uh, because the agreement would be with you and not with uh, anybody else. So um, you would sell part of the property they would be the registered owner so if you sold 50% they would 
that would be the register done. You would be a beneficial owner of, of, of the rest of it. Um, so all the costs of uh, maintaining and uh, insurance, you need you'd be expected to keep insurance on it and any service charges um, and that they had to be made would be your responsibility. Um, and in fact, if if you didn't pay your service charges, you didn't you didn't prove you had insurance, or you didn't live in the property, and you were, and you weren't able to sign this uh, declaration, and uh, if the property was seen to be abandoned or something like that, then um, the provider would have the right, uh, which would be set out in their agreement, to come along and take possession of the property because. Uh, uh, that they wouldn't want to go into dilapidation and have squatters in there and all this sort of thing. So um, that's an uh, important thing to consider. Um, I mean, there are there are there are there are benefits to it in that uh, you know that you've you sold a property. How much of it you sold? How much is left? If you sold fifty percent, then at least the fifty percent that you've got, you're still going to enjoy the capital growth on that fifty percent. So when it's finally sold, uh, your your bit would have grown as well, um, and then they would give that back to you, uh, less all the costs of the of the selling and the legal bits, uh, either to your estate or if you've gone into long term care, it will come back to you when it's eventually sold. Uh, so you uh, would enjoy that, that that capital growth, similar to the lifetime mortgage situation, um, and there's no. There's no worrying about interest rates on this one. It doesn't come into the picture. You simply get your money. It's tax-free. Uh, you can take it in a lump sum, or you could take it uh, in bits and pieces. You could do drawdowns, or you could take 25% uh, now and then 10% and 10%, whichever way you wanted it. If you wanted to take it in different in different stages. Now, home reversion plans are regulated. Uh, by the Financial Conduct Authority, the FCA. They weren't always regulated, but they are now. So ensure, absolutely ensure that if you are considering uh, a home reversion that the company you're dealing with is regulated by the FCA so you will enjoy their protection. There are some um, companies around who are not regulated by the FCA, so <clears throat> be sure that uh, you, you're dealing with a, a regulated company. Um, what else is there? Um, could you move? Yes, you could. Uh, if uh, if the new property was uh, acceptable to the uh, plan provider, uh, they could certainly look at that and look at the percentage uh, that they own on your property, look at percentage of the new property, and, and similar to what we spoke about with uh, lifetime mortgages, uh, it is possible for them to um, accept that and allow you to uh, move properties. So that's basically uh, a home reversion plan. Um, big thing is you don't own it anymore. Uh, you don't pay rent but you don't own it. It's a big thing. People can't get it into their head. Oh, no, I wouldn't like that. So if you don't fancy that, then don't do it. It's, I mean, it's got a benefit. If you're if you're a single occupant and maybe you haven't got uh, family to leave a, a legacy to and uh, you say to yourself, well, I'll just, I'll just sell the whole lot, get what I can for it and go off on a cruise and then I'll pop my clogs, it's all done. Then that might suit you. Uh, it doesn't suit everybody, uh, but it can be uh, suitable for some people. But as always, you have to uh, be careful and uh, ensure that these uh, companies are regulated. So uh, remember, uh, they don't pay you market value for this. I mean, they don't nick it off you, but they, uh, they only pay you so much. Because remember, they, they borrowed the money on the money markets, and then they're buying this property. And they're not going to see it back again for about 30 years, maybe. And so um, they've got to pay the interest on, on their money for that 30 years and then they're going to recoup their profit uh, in 30 years' time. So uh, that's why they can't pay you uh, top dollar for the property at the start. So um, there we are. Um, 
don't forget that uh, it could if you if you're getting uh, income uh, same as lifetime mortgage if you're getting regular income regular drawdowns from uh, a whole reversion plan it could affect your entitlement to uh, state benefits so uh, make sure you speak with your equity release advisor if that's what you're looking to do and he explains all these things to you okay i think that's uh, covered uh, generally uh, i hope you understand what a home reversion plan is and how it differs to a lifetime mortgage they're not very popular now they only accounted for about one percent of all equity release in the last year so people have got off the home reversion plans and they prefer to go to lifetime mortgages with these extremely low uh, interest rates we have at this time um, but there we are it might be for you i uh, hope you found it helpful um, and um, i'll see you next time bye